Have you ever wondered how something as strong as metal, something that holds up entire airplanes, can suddenly just break? No explosions, no obvious damage, just a tiny crack that grows and grows until, one day, it becomes catastrophic. This phenomenon is called metal fatigue, and it's one of the most quietly dangerous things engineers have to deal with, especially in aviation. Because in airplanes, where parts are constantly under stress, even the smallest weakness can spell disaster. So today, let's take a closer look at how metal fatigue causes airplane parts to fail, how tiny cracks can grow over time and lead to major failures, right here on History of Simple Things. When you think of an airplane, you probably picture its powerful engines, sleek wings, and shiny body made of aluminum and titanium alloys. These materials are chosen for their strength and lightness. They can handle extreme temperatures, air pressure changes, and thousands of hours of flight. But here's the catch. Every time a plane takes off, climbs, cruises, and lands, its body is stretched, compressed, and bent. Just a little bit. You can't see it but the metal is constantly flexing under stress. Each takeoff and landing cycle is like one breath for the airplane. And just like breathing in and out, it happens over and over again, thousands of times. Over time, those small repetitive stresses start to leave microscopic scars inside the metal. These are called micro cracks. At first, they're too tiny to notice, even under inspection. But with every flight, Every vibration, every gust of turbulence, those cracks slowly grow. To understand metal fatigue, think about bending a paper clip back and forth. The first few times it just bends. But if you keep going, the metal starts to feel weaker, softer, and eventually it snaps. That's fatigue. You didn't overload it once, you just repeated the stress too many times. In airplanes, the same principle applies, but on a much larger and more dangerous scale. Even though engineers design aircraft parts to handle stress, no material is immune to fatigue. The metal remembers every flight it's been through, and over time, that memory can turn into failure. Let's get a little scientific for a second. When metal is subjected to repeated stress, what engineers call cyclic loading, the internal structure of the metal, known as its crystal lattice, begins to shift. Tiny defects form within the grains of the metal. These defects are like weak spots, and when they line up in the same direction, a crack begins to form. Once a crack starts, it tends to grow outward every time the metal is stressed again. The crack doesn't grow in a straight line. It spreads in tiny steps, layer by layer, like tearing a piece of cloth one fiber at a time. Eventually, the remaining uncracked section can't carry the load anymore, and it suddenly breaks, often without any warning. That's the terrifying part. Fatigue failures often happen suddenly after long periods of invisible damage. Metal fatigue isn't just a theory, it's a lesson learned through tragedy. One of the most famous examples is the de Havilland Comet, the world's first commercial jet airliner in the 1950s. At the time, it was a symbol of modern engineering, a sleek, fast jet that promised to change air travel forever. But in 1954, disaster struck. Several Comet jets broke apart mid-air with no obvious cause. Investigators were baffled. The planes were new, well-maintained, and built from high-quality aluminum. So, what went wrong? After months of testing, engineers placed an entire comet fuselage in a giant water tank to simulate repeated pressurization, the same kind it would experience during takeoffs and landings. After several thousand cycles, the metal skin began to crack right around the corners of the square windows. It turned out that the sharp corners of the windows created stress concentrations. Every time the cabin was pressurized, those corners stretched just a bit more than the rest of the fuselage. Over time, small cracks formed, and eventually, they tore the plane apart. 
the comet disasters became a turning point in aviation safety. Engineers redesigned airplanes with rounded windows and stronger, fatigue-resistant structures. That change saved countless lives and remains a standard in aircraft design today. Modern airplanes are built with fatigue in mind from the very beginning. Designers use computer simulations, stress tests, and advanced materials to make sure every rivet, bolt, and beam can survive decades of service. Aircraft structures are made from aluminum alloys, titanium, and increasingly composite materials like carbon fiber, each chosen for its specific fatigue resistance. But design is only the first line of defense. Maintenance and inspection play an equally crucial role. Every commercial airplane has what's called a fatigue life limit. This limit is based on the number of pressurization cycles, flight hours, and the expected stresses on the aircraft's frame. Airlines and engineers keep precise records for every plane, tracking exactly how many times it has taken off, landed, and experienced turbulence. When a plane reaches its fatigue limit, certain parts must be replaced, even if they look perfectly fine. It's not about how old a plane is, it's about how much work it's done. Detecting fatigue cracks before they grow is one of the most challenging parts of aircraft maintenance. Engineers use a variety of techniques to find even the smallest flaws. There's ultrasonic testing, where sound waves bounce through the metal and reveal hidden cracks. There's eddy current testing, which uses magnetic fields to spot imperfections. And there's dye penetrant inspection, where a special colored liquid seeps into tiny cracks and makes them visible under ultraviolet light. Some newer aircraft even have built-in sensors that continuously monitor stress and strain, alerting maintenance teams before any real damage occurs. It's like giving the airplane a nervous system that can feel when something's wrong. Despite all these precautions, metal fatigue has still managed to cause a few notable incidents. One such case happened in 1988 on Aloha Airlines Flight 243. The Boeing 737 was flying between Hawaiian islands when part of its roof suddenly tore open, exposing passengers to open air thousands of feet above the ground. Miraculously, the pilots managed to land the plane safely, but one crew member lost her life. The investigation revealed that the metal skin of the plane had suffered from fatigue cracks due to decades of short, frequent flights. The constant pressurization cycles, more than 89,000, had weakened the structure. The cracks were so small that they had gone unnoticed during regular inspections, until one day they linked up and caused a massive rupture. That accident changed how airlines inspect older aircraft. It also led to stricter maintenance schedules and improved inspection technology. So, can we ever completely eliminate metal fatigue? Probably not, but we're getting better at managing it. New materials like self-healing alloys and smart composites are being developed. Materials that can repair tiny cracks on their own before they spread. Artificial intelligence is being used to predict fatigue patterns based on flight data, temperature, and stress loads. In the future, an aircraft might know it's developing fatigue before humans do and schedule its own maintenance. That's the goal, not just to react to metal fatigue, but to anticipate it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.